Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, Mid Handicap Dave. Afternoon, Chris. How are you doing? Very good, very good. You might find that I'm a bit quieter than Dave today. The microphone issue continues as we're waiting for it to be repaired. It's not good, is it? No, everyone had thought it was Christmas, but obviously I didn't get a new microphone. So, Dave, good Christmas? Yeah, you? Yes, not too bad. Can't what, complain. What did Santa bring? Out and out? Note. I got a new bag. Dave's had a new bag. That's why I've got it on show, everyone, so you can see that. Um, but today, guys, we're going to talk about how to warm up, how to prepare for a round of golf. So a lot of times that Dave's face there is obvious, it doesn't warm up. <laughs> Cup of coffee and a Mars bar. And that's it. That's it. Maybe, eight, eight maybe, blows on a maybe, good day. maybe two, three putts. Exactly, which is a common thing. So how do you warm up? A lot of people don't know what to do. If you've got a driving range at your course or if you're going to hit balls before, then ideal way to warm up is what we're going to go through so we're going to talk about how to warm up into your full swing what to maybe do before you go out and then what you'd also do on the putting green so what would you do what's going to get you the best chance to obviously lower your score then just be ready to go on the first hole not take four or five to get into it you've already lost 10 shots and you're off 15 so it's a long final 13 holes so how long before you start your round would you turn up and yeah. start doing your routine so here we'll, we'll show on the video that it's going to be probably a, a 15 20 minute warm up right. so we're not saying turn up three hours before again just get here hit some shots if you're into a net still go through your bag and hit some shots you might not do the final bit which we're going to do today but get in there go through your bag start with some chips and then just start to build up and then onto the putting green we're not too focused on we're going to hold a few putts maybe but the main thing is getting the pace of the day so when you get out there, the first foot doesn't go 10 foot past and we all go, it's one of those days, I should have just gone to the pub. <laughs> Although that's a good option. I've it? got mates who do that anyway. Right, so what we do to start with is Dave would start with a sandwich. So Dave's going to grab his sandwich now. Sloppy is prepared, so they're ready. And what Dave's going to do is to start with, just get some contact. So what we do, what I would get people to do first is get into your chipping setup couple of swings and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit five chip shots we're going to try and hit one to land five yards land 10 yards 15 20 and you did guess it 25 and then from there we'll build up then into a longer shot and then go up the clubs okay so the idea of this is just to start to get contact start to feel comfortable and it's something that we're going to chip, we're going to miss greens, unfortunately, um, especially Dave, we have seen. Harsh, but well, true. did have a good round the other day. I four did, I did four holes. over gross for 14 holes, even the short and course, mind, but short and even course. so. Par three course, it was, I heard. <coughs> you, still right. got, you still got to hit them. So that was good, that was five yards nicely, so ten yards now. Okay, so, a little bit thin there. Yeah, it was. So from that, you're going to take your feedback. We don't just move on, obviously, and just go up the bag now. So Dave knows he needs to make sure he keeps that weight left. And now we're going to go to 15 yards. So get that body turning, keep his weight left. Good. So much better contact. Yeah. 15 yards, pretty much bang on. And now he knows there. A little bit of feedback straight away in his warm-up is right, yeah. Tendency is to fall back. So it is. Get a little bit shallow. Yep. You know, so you just keep that weight left and hit down onto the golf ball. Super. 20 yards there. Yep, much higher flight as well. Much higher came out against start line. We're working on that as well while doing this. It's not just contact, it's seeing where it's starting, seeing what the strike is. Final one to 25. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah, so one bad strike out of yeah. five, which, which you would take. You take the feedback there, the first one was a good strike, second one, okay, it's a little bit longer. Right, tendencies are for Dave to get a little bit falling back and shallow. Right, fix that, and then the next three are good. So confidence then is built back up. He knows what he did wrong, corrected it. So if it does happen on the golf course, which we know it can, he 
it's nice and easy to go, oh yeah, on the range again, I remembered I needed to get my weight left and keep it there. So now what we do is we move on up, we're going to move on to Dave's pitching wedge. Good, so Dave's got his pitching wedge, his new pitching wedge. And we're going to now hit some fuller shots. So Dave's going to hit the first one, might hit it three quarters just to loosen up a little bit. here is, is hitting down the middle of the moment as you see as we go through this we'll start to change targets towards the end of your practice but have something as a target as a goal whether it's the end of the range in a net pick a point you know make a little square that you want to hit your uh, shots into or a strip down the middle and hit at something don't just hit aimlessly oh yeah that's gone 150 yards well yeah but it's 40 yards left pick your target we've gone straight down the middle here at waterfront nice and easy that's where the lights are and this is where the, the bay sends you anyway. So he's able to know, right, am I starting it online or not? So, full one now. Three shots with the pitching wedge, and then we're going to move to the sick time. Again, straight down the middle, Dave. Yeah, happy with that. I ought to do this more often before I play. Yeah, is the coffee in the mouth not working? No. I don't know why either. Maybe You'd think it would, wouldn't you? You would. I thought that's what all athletes did. Yeah. That's what James Robinson does. <laughs> True athletes. Mars by a hole, isn't it, surely? Uh, yeah, not far off. Super. So, from now, three shots with Dave now. He's got a full swing more. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's a little bit more loose. So now we go straight to the middle of the bag. Six iron. So Dave's going to go for his six iron now. Is in there somewhere? He has, if you can remember where he's put it. I'm going to have to get rid of these head covers. You know, I get so much grief, so much grief for them. Iron head covers, not my suggestion. So, six iron now. So, instead of going up your nine, going up your eight, going up your seven, you don't need to do that. Let's go now to probably like this is Dave's longest iron before he goes to a hybrid. So, full so, shot or just a Full shot, and I wouldn't go to a four iron, if you had a four iron, I'm not saying go from pitching weight to four iron, middle of the bag, you're going to hit a lot more shots with this kind of club. Super, straight down the middle again, in balance. Yeah. Right. So two more again, and I'm only going three goal four, so we're not hitting, you know, hitting loads and loads, we're not, you know, you're going to be tired by the time you get out there. Pretty good, slightly left, but slightly left, two or three yards. We're gonna gonna say, that is still on the green. Not missing out. Not missing a green. Hopefully not anyway. <laughs> small greens. Not seeing where flags are at Griffith. <laughs> Super shot. Cheers. So three great shots there. He's Dave's building himself up now and he's obviously he's He's getting looser, he's got his contact, from his contact he's then been able to now start to hit longer stuff. So from his six iron, Dave goes to a hybrid. So we want to hit his hybrid, which is his five hybrid. Oh no. He's snagged up in everything. Everything. New bag. New bag. Uh, Put it all together it's and all all obviously incorrectly. So we go to hybrid now because what we want to do is you know, we're moving up. Dave's going to hit hybrids out there. It's likely you know we're going to hit one, so we will build up to that. But we want to go to the one that Dave's going to be feeling comfortable with. Again, same target, straight down the middle. Super. Cheers. Dave's hit one there, and it's gone straight down the middle. He's flushed it. So on this occasion. For the video, say you, you might hit two more, you might hit one more. If you've hit a really good one, let's move up the bag. Let's move up now to the driver. So straight up to driver now. Got some pink castles. Leads aren't getting any better, so Dave's no. showing you his head cover, but I don't know why. Premiership side, don't know for how long. So 
again, guys, apologies for the sound. The microphone has died. So is this tea? Perfect. So, straight down the middle again for Dave here, and then we're going to go into playing the first couple of holes. Side, yeah, so one not more. terrible. Two man job setting up the table. It's difficult. You wouldn't believe he used to be an engineer. <laughs> Awful shot. A little bit left. So yeah. on that, what I would have done if Dave had hit a good one, we'd have moved on to the next. But again, if you hit one that's like that, not the Dave's, certainly not Dave's best strike, we're going to hit another one. So back through his routine, you know, practice swings, getting to that finish. It was a little bit out of balance. Mm. Dave's able to hold his finish straight up the middle. So now what we're going to do is a lot of people say from there, what do I do? We need a driver. I don't know where Dave's going. So we're going to play the first couple of holes of your golf club. So what I want you to do is think about what's the first holes, what are they a par four, it might even be a par three, but play those. So for me, at my old golf club, it's 330 yards downhill and it's normally a four iron off the tee. So what I would do there is I'd hit, to lay up short of the bunker, I always hit a four iron. So I'd start with a four iron, pick a fairway, make a fairway in some targets, whether it's trees on the range, here we can do it with signs. I'm going to play that shot, and then depending on how I've struck that shot, I'm going to decide what kind of club or distance I'd have into the hole, and then I'd pick another target and move to that. So it's more feeling like you're on the golf course now that you've played the first couple of holes, before you get onto them. So you know what club you're taking, you know what you're doing, you're already getting into your round. So Dave at Garforth, what's the first hole? It's about 350, 360 yards, slight dog leg right. And it's driver off the tee? Driver off the tee, there's okay. some bunkers at about 190. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna hit Dave's driver. We're gonna pick ourselves a fairway that Dave would say how wide the fairway is, I, I don't know. So Dave's gonna pick two targets, we're gonna aim there, and then depending on Dave's strike and distance, we're then going to pick another shot as if we're hitting into the green, which might be with an A-tie, might be with a pitching wedge, might be with a hybrid, depending on the strike. So it's playing it as if, if he was out there and getting more into game mode and changing because we wouldn't stand here and hit 50 drivers and then go and tee off for a round. I'd hope not, but most were. Right. It's a fairly narrow fairway, yeah, so if I take the second one on the left in this... Oh, the Second, one. yeah, and the one on the right. Okay, yep. So that would be about the width of the fairway. It's a narrow, narrow tee shot for Dave, narrow fairway even. So Dave's going to make it like that. We're going to aim up the left. Dave's going to go through his normal routine, and then we'll play the shot. Off balance, but do you know what? Off balance in the ferry, that would yeah. have ran quite a while. Yeah, it'd be good, that. So how far would you say, roughly? That would leave in? me about, probably, 130, 140 in. Okay, so 130, 140. Would be. Which is an eight time? Yep. Eight time, perfect. Jeez, if I can find it. And we're going to go towards the left target that you had as the fairway. Cause okay. That's at 135. So Dave's able to pick a target there and play the shot as he would as if he was on the golf course. Bit short, but a little bit short. On target. Linked a little bit right. So from here, Dave's gonna decide now, would he be chipping or would he be putting? I'd be chipping. Chipping, okay. So we'd have maybe 
20 yard chip shot. Yep. Again, here we're going to pick a target out in front of us. The basket here is at around about 25, so if we land it just short of that, yeah. Dave's got an idea of what we're, uh, what we're trying to achieve. Perfect. Yeah. So it landed exactly where we wanted it to. I just nearly fell over. Landed exactly where we wanted to. Yep. On there, and we've got a putt. Okay. We can't putt if we're on the driving range, obviously. So, but Dave's there. Got into the routine of changing club and making sure that he's getting into the correct setup for each club that we've used. So, really preparing just for a normal round of golf. Yeah. Okay. So, second hole, Jonathan. Par five, reasonably wide fairway. Um, there's a ditch basically 100 yards from the green. So, okay. it's. Two shots to the ditch. To what? To just shot of the ditch, and then you're playing hopefully about 110 yards into green. Perfect. So we we'll go driver again, and yep. Dave will lay up, and then he'll hit 100 yards and he's got the target straight in front, which is the net. So. Now, all the troubles down the left on this hole. Cheers. So like Dave said there, just before I hit to get his confidence up, all the troubles on the left. <laughs> so that's one of the things there, when Dave's obviously warming up and when you stood on the tee, he's thinking that, okay, it's on the, the trouble's on the left, think about where you tee up, and then think about also what shot you're trying to play. But don't be thinking, oh, just stay away from the trouble, stay away from the trouble, and blaze one 50 yards right. So. Pick what shot shape you're playing that day, whatever it is, whatever you saw on the range, and then commit to the middle of the fairway, whether it goes a little bit left or right, you should still be on the fairway or in the rough. You shouldn't be in the cabbage. So, from there, David, would lay up, what would you normally lay up with? I think that would probably be a six iron to lay up. Six iron hybrid, uh, six iron hybrid, six iron. Yeah, there we are. The trouble I always find with a layup is, it's you, you tend to think it's not you're not being specific, and you're just thinking it doesn't matter whether it's 110 yards or 140 yards, and it's, I, I find that I get a bit lazy and I'm not picking the right spot. Yeah, that's it. So you should still be bushling how far it is. So let's say the ditch is at 200 yards from here. Dave should be thinking, right, if I hit a six iron. It, the best it will run out is to 180 and just hit a full shot don't be okay well i could go five hybrid but if i catch it too good it's in you start to yeah. guide shots so pick something that you know the maximum the best the 10 out of 10 is not reaching that which for dave is a six iron and then commit to it hit it full commit to that don't try and guide it down there. I suppose the good bit about that is that I've already hit three six irons anyway. Yeah, we've already hit three six irons, so on this occasion, uh, even if they was in a seven iron, he knows he's hit a club that's a little bit harder to hit than a seven iron. So we've gone through the bag to use the club that's going to make it easier for him. So by going through the bag and hitting all the clubs, or the clubs that we did, it allows Dave to feel comfortable over each shot that we play here. So now Dave's got his 9-9, we've got around about 110 we'd say. Let's yep. Let's try. 110, so that's right in front. So we're going to go straight at the basket just past the robots. Good distance, but right. Perfect distance, but that would have held on the side of the green. Yep. So, so for Dave there, he doesn't need to chip. So that's his, that's Dave's full swing warm up there. So hopefully, I mean, we've done a lot of talking, so the video is going to show you how long this warm up is. But again, you'll be hitting those balls, taking your time, going through your routine and hitting those. So it's going to take us around about 15 minutes to do that. So. From there, you've been able to get your contact with your short game, do a little bit of chipping, instead of having to go down to the chipping green, then go here, then go there. 
With them being able to hit some fuller shots, build up your confidence with your strike. We've gone to Dave's longest iron, but again, a mid iron, a six iron is always a good club to go to. We've then hit a fairway wood slash hybrid, so we've been able to make sure the ball position moves slightly forward, we adjust our setup, and then we hit a couple of drives. And again, if you hit your hybrid and you flush it first time, move, move on. If you end on a bad one, let's say you've hit three drives and your third one's not great, don't finish on the bad one. Tee another one up, hit another shot, and then move into play in the first couple of holes at your golf club. You start to play more like a real round of golf, you're going driver, then an iron, then you might hit a chip shot, it's more realistic. So Dave then is ready to go. Obviously before that, what he might do, well, I hope he will do, is go to the putting green, and we're gonna show you now in another video next week of how Dave should warm up with his putter. Guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully it's given you something different to work on and you realize you don't have to get there too early. You can still maybe get your beer in or your coffee in your Mars bar, but then you can hit some balls for 20 minutes and then be ready to go and hopefully, score a little bit better that's good that. i thought it'd take a lot longer if i'm honest i thought it'd be sort of an hour yeah and that's what people think a tour player might do an hour but they've also got not a lot else to do before around and they trust me they have plenty of coffees so take your time get here it's not too much obviously it's not going to take you that long but you can get down to the golf club you can get warmed up and it's not taking you five holes when you're 10 over to finally uh, loosen up so guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you've had a good Christmas and hope you have a good New Year because this will be on after New Year. So hopefully you've had a good New Year. And uh, we'll see you again next week when we're going to talk about how to warm up putting. See you soon.